Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Kenny here again. This time, I've got a new video, and I'm reviewing V2 versus Green Smoke, the number one competitor to V2. So V2 and Green Smoke, number one and number two. And um, I was a, v a V2 user, love them. They helped me quit smoking. I've, I've been off cigarettes for about half a year now. Uh, feel incredible. Uh, psychologically, it's it's just great to be able to. I don't know about you, but every time I lit up a cigarette, I thought about cancer every time, and it's it's great not to have that anymore. Uh, I mean, there's still cancer, but you know, <laughs> less of a chance, I guess. But anyway, so Green Smoke is a competitor. Uh, they cost a lot more, and I was kind of interested in seeing why and what the big deal was. And I had seen some new reviews uh, saying that Green Smoke had, had improved a lot, and um, that they were even maybe better than V2. And so it broke down by Green Smoke. Um, I'll tell you a few things about it. First of all, the, the price is higher, uh, and I think one reason is because they have free shipping, which V2 doesn't. So that's, that's built into the cost, and it doesn't matter how big your order is, uh, they give you free shipping. So um, I think the actual uh, battery, the, just the cigarette part, on a Green Smoke is like 30 bucks. On a V2, it's like 21. Um, I don't really recommend getting a starter kit because they add in stuff that you don't need. So uh, you need a charger, you need the battery, you need cartridges. So that, and that's it. Um, but anyway, so um, cartridges V2 is about 12 or 13, and Green Smoke is like 16. So you can see, you know, it's a little bit more. But again, shipping, you know, that's something else to factor in. But that's one thing that really struck out for me is that you know, giving away free shipping. I mean, that's and they just you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to select your what kind of shipping you're going to have. It's it's all in there. It's taken care of. Uh, you can opt for more shipping you know, overnight, whatever. But standard shipping is free. Um, so I got my Green Smoke in. Really excited. And uh, I noticed that the uh, overall what really struck me at first is just the feel and the size of it. Now I know V2 offers a, a shorty cigarette, which I haven't tried yet, but you can just tell, I don't know, it's hard to put my finger on it, it's almost the, the way it, uh, it just feels like a cigarette, <laughs> it really does, uh, compared to V2, which sometimes feels like a marker or a pen, almost, you know. So the size and the feel are really nice, uh, really compares well with a cigarette. And then I took a hit on it, and uh, man, it's like super powerful, and I got a <laughs> big rush of nicotine. That I wasn't getting with V2, it was just instant. And, um, but mysteriously, somehow since then, it didn't come back exactly the same as it was the first time. I don't know. Uh, I've charged it all the way. I don't really know what the deal is, but I don't know. That first time right out of the box, it was like super powerful. And I thought, okay, well, this is a much stronger cigarette. Um, and their flavors, at first, I was really pretty blown away. Uh, the tobaccos are pretty accurate, I and mean, they taste—they taste kind of like camel. They have one that's sort of mocks a camel, one that mocks Marlboro Red. I would say they both taste kind of like camel. They're pretty similar, and um, they got a menthol one too, and a coffee. And I'll, I'll review them all here. Also have a vanilla. But one thing that I noticed about the flavors is they all have, and I didn't notice this at first. They all have the same. It's like the same flavor, and then they just like this one's a little bit more vanilla, this one's a little bit more tobacco, this one's a little bit more minty, you know. But they all have the same, it's, it's an aftertaste, it's undeniable. Uh, and I bought more than one box, I thought maybe it was just a, an anomaly, you know, it's one box and it's just bad, but they all kind of, to me, taste a little funny. Um, it's not awful, but it just tires very quickly. And um, I'll just go through the flavors now and tell you, and I'll, and I'll compare them to the B2. Um, also want to say, on vapor production and on the pool, this little guy is pretty good. Um, I would say it's it's a close call on vapor production. You know, it all depends on how you puff on it. You know, you can you can you can wear a lot of hurricane on a V2 if you want. Um, green smoke, I would say the pull is easier. There's less less of an air gap, and I have tons of V2. Some of them are more tight. Some of them have more of an air gap. But this has almost the green smoke. The one that I have has almost no air gap. It's quieter when you smoke it. You don't hear much. And then you, you breathe out, and it's just tons of vapor. Um, it's a different kind of vapor, though. It's hard to explain. Uh, I was like, V2 is a little more... 
almost like, I mean, it's, it, it, all of it's water vapor, I guess, but it, it is, seems more like a water vapor, whereas green smoke really does feel like a, like a natural, like fire smoke. Um, but anyway, so this first one here is red label. I'm just give you a little demonstration, show you the pool and the, the vapor. That wasn't very strong, not sure why it might be this cartridge, but Red Label tastes like Camel. I think it's supposed to taste like Marlboro, but it tastes like Camel. It is much closer, especially at my first impression, it's much closer to a cigarette than anything B2 has. Uh, B2's best tobacco flavor, I think, is Congress. Uh, the other two, I just, I don't have any desire to have them. I mean, they're okay, they'll get you by. Some people really like them, I don't. But Congress is pretty good on, on B2. Um, so tobacco, green smoke, touchdown, beautiful. Don't mind the aftertaste. This one is called Mocha Mist. Let me just try it so I can remember. Mm. Yeah, so this is uh, this is green smoke's uh, coffee flavor. It's called Mocha Mist. Yeah. It's not even close to YouTube. Uh, and I've had some bad batches of V2. Uh, that is a, another thing that <laughs> I sort of picked up on, is that V2's flavors are often inconsistent, which sucks when you buy a big box of them and they all stink. But it happens. It's 10% it's of the time, but it happens, and it's annoying as hell. But on head-to-head -head coffee, this has got that aftertaste. doesn't taste that much like coffee. I don't know what it tastes like, but it's not coffee. And, um, you know, I don't know. It's... Uh, B2 wins that one pretty easily, I think. It's just, man, you want to you wanna have that B2 coffee sometimes. I mean, I, I kind of bounce around on the flavors, and you really do crave that coffee. It's good. This is the, I'm going to try the menthol out now. Let's hit this one. Good pull, good vapor on menthol. You know what, though? It doesn't taste like menthol. Don't know what it tastes like, kind of like grass. I don't know, I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's not menthol. And I've had another one that was, I thought maybe, funky one, tried another one, still doesn't taste like menthol. B2 kicks their ass up and down the street on menthol and coffee, and those flavors are important flavors, you gotta get them right. Tobacco is also important, green smoke wins that, but, damn, B2 kills green smoke on vapor, on the uh, on menthol, not even close. I have no desire to smoke this thing. Next up, vanilla. Green smoke vanilla. Love the green flame. There you go. Oh. Yeah, I like green smoke vanilla. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, green smoke vanilla is more uh, sophisticated than B two. I would say it. It is very smoky. Uh, where V2 is, is more like a candy, and it has an aftertaste. Um, but this still has an underlying green smoke nasty aftertaste. I don't know what it is. It doesn't taste right. Um, but overall, I mean, I love this thing for like two weeks. And then after a while, I'm like, these all kind of taste the same. They got that net. I don't know what it is. Something funky going on in green smoke. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they're known for their flavors. People say they're great. Uh, I just, they all have that, that flavor to them. I think my favorite green smoke, I'm gonna put that one on now, is the Absolute Tobacco. And this with a glass of wine, pretty pretty sweet. It does taste like a cigarette. Yeah, I'm not even gonna diss the aftertaste, this is so good. Yeah, green smoke, Absolute Tobacco one, awesome. That's the winner. And it kicks the crap out of B2s. Tobacco flavors would suck. Um, anyway, so that, that's a general overview. Uh, they're just different experiences. Um, but I do think, I, I do find myself going back to V2. I think that the flavor is more craveable. That cola is, is awesome. The, um, the, the menthol is, is awesome. And, and uh, coffee kicks ass, man. Really good. And green smoke's a little limited. I think they're all a little too similar, you know, and uh, I'll have that aftertaste to them. But, you know, overall, it's okay. Not worth the money, I don't think.
I'm going to stick with V2. All right, y'all. hope you all enjoyed the review. If you have any questions, uh, leave some comments down for me. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.